Welcome back to the channel. Today, if you don't care about cars, this is the video you want to watch because we're going to let you know what car you should buy if you don't care about cars at all. And it is this car right here. <laughs> Wow, another video about cars. And on top of that, another video about the Toyota Camry. Well, the fact is that owning a car can be a blessing or a curse. The United States is a society built around cars and cars is thus an essential part of a road towards a quality life and increased access to simply earn a living. The reality in the United States is that owning a car is a means to further advancement and therefore your car's reliability becomes important to minimize financial stress. I quote, owning a car is expensive in the US, not owning one is even more expensive. Consequently, for millions of people, choosing a car is an important decision. Thus, the reason for this video. The Camry is one of the top selling sedans of all time and it has been described as rational, reliable, affordable, and dependable. It provides a hassle-free relationship. Furthermore, Camry owners have been described as indifferent, yet it remains an icon. Today we offer the preposition that it is the most reliable mid-size sedan and the perfect car for you that don't care about cars. And we have our uh, lovely Anna with us today. Thank you for joining. Of course. And uh, this is her car. And maybe you can just share briefly about your relationship to cars, mm. if any. <laughs> well, first and foremost, upon getting this car, I gave him a name. So it's Sullivan Frank. Okay. I always name the car, it makes it personal. Why'd you get this car? Um. I knew that Toyotas and Camrys were reliable, so that's Mark where that. I started, mm -hmm. and um, I really wanted a backup camera. That was a non-negotiable for my car. You wanted a car that was reliable? Reliable and had a backup okay. camera, yeah. And you told me this is a 2017? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a four-cylinder, it's a 2.5 liter, uh, it's about 178 horsepower powers. And gas uh, mileage about roughly 28 miles per gallon. That's true. That's on average. I just checked it today. Um, do you have a relationship to cars? Like, do you care about cars? I actually do not. No. Okay. I want something reliable, good gas mileage, and won't break down easily. Okay. And has a backup camera. Backup camera. Yeah. All right. So, what do you like the best from your experience? I Besides like. Besides the backup camera. I like the color because I can always find it in a parking lot. Okay. I also like that it breaks really well. Okay. I've had a couple of close calls that I've come out fine. Sullivan has also come out fine thanks to the brakes. Okay. Anything you don't like about it? In terms of overall reliability, practicality, roominess, uh, efficiency, the Camry kind of does everything really well. Uh, without maybe being the winner in any of these specific areas and that's why some people buy the Camrys because of the overall reliability and they just run and run and run and you can do your own search and please put in the comments below but one thing with cars that you want to last is the engine and the transmission this is a six-speed automatic transmission it has a 2.5 liter like I said the four-cylinder the four engine and what Toyota has done with this engine is that they tweaked it over the years instead of making a brand new engine so it's been around for Kind of forever um, relatively speaking and Toyota just tweaked it and tweaked it and tweaked it and made it uh, a really really uh, reliable engine this is for you who are looking for a car and if you don't care about cars <laughs> and you want to buy a car i propose you should get a camry uh, for everyday usage do you need a rav4 highlander or can you stick with the camry so as you can see it's pretty pretty wide it's from here all the way to here <laughs> Some dry goods. We're inside the Camry. How's your legroom? It's plentiful. 
Um, I'm not the tallest guy. I'm about 5'7 on a, a good day. <laughs> and uh, I think I have the seat all the way back. And I don't know if you can see, but there's plenty of space. Um, the seats are comfortable. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice place to sit. And again, one thing that people say against Camry is the finish quality of the interior compared to some of the competitors. That um, the, it's kind of plasticky, it's a little, you know, glossy material. So it doesn't win on the quality of the interior. But again, the reason I'm saying you should buy this car is not because of the quality of the interior, it's because of the overall reliability of the, of the car. The longevity of the vehicle and the price that you pay and the value you get over time is what makes this, in my opinion, mm. the best car option to buy. Something that I really do love about this car that is not the case with every car, this lockbox locks. It locks. I love that. Do you have any car advice you want to share? Get a backup camera, men, even you. It will change your parallel parking life. What's a life advice you would share? So since we're talking about cars, again, I'll give y'all a little snippet of life slash car advice. I always keep a beach chair, hiking boots, and a hammock in my car. So I'm always ready for whatever occasion life throws at me. There you go. Thank we're you. driving the Toyota Camry 2017 SE. First impression is this is the SE model, so it's supposed to be a little sporty. And with sportiness comes a little bit firmer suspension. The steering is pretty responsive. It has a little heaviness to it, so you kind of get a little more feedback. This one has a automatic, but you can put it in manual. And it has paddle shifters. Paddle shifters. I put it in the paddle shifter, so you can see it's in there. Oh. And it says, Let's see. We're going to see if this changes for us. Oh, wow. Look at that. It doesn't change for us. No. I, th I don't think it changes for us. We're going to see here. So, we're in manual. I put it in first. Come on, Sully. So, we'll see if she changes. I have to, have to change for, for Sully. Oh, wow. Listen to that. <laughs> Do you have to change it? Yep. It's not automatic? I don't think so. So you have to actually change it yourself. Look at that. For those of you who say Toyotas aren't sporty, <laughs> you can downshift. Listen to that. It's kind of like being in a you know, Porsche, except there's a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> Also, as we drove, uh, the wind noise, the noise from the tires, the noise from the engine, it's, it's like, it's comparable to any other sedan. And the one reason why I think you should buy the Camry, I think the Honda Accord is right there with it, but I think overall, from what I've read um, and researched, I think the Camry has a little bit of an edge when it comes to just long-term durability and, and, and reliability. It's practical, it's roomy, uh, like I said, it's not the most sporty when it comes to design. You may not think it's the nicest or sporty looking car or edgy looking car. When it comes to overall reliability, this is it. Well, this was quite the experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed learning about the paddle shifters. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, we're still in <laughs> still in paddle shifters. I went down the first gear just to make sure people know you can have fun in the Camry. And um, or you can freak out on a highway when you don't know how to use paddle shifters. <laughs> we'll do that too. Um, so you know, we're obviously professionals. We do this all the time, and we are licensed uh, to use the paddle shifters. But if you disagree with the Camry being the best option for someone who doesn't care about cars but just want a car that runs well that does everything you needed to do well don't give any troubles you're not going to break your bank with repairs and maintenance costs and it just works day in and day out uh, please put in a comment if you think that's not true the camry sullivan sullivan frank sullivan frank and you can name your camry too and have just a wonderful experience with it thanks for watching we're going to take this SU to the racetrack in our minds.
and uh, <laughs> hope to see you next time. So we just thought we want to highlight um, the glove compartment because we we mentioned being the the lock. How do you, what do you call it again? The lock box. The lock box. <laughs> Who okay? puts gloves in here? <laughs> um, so the you know the glove compartment locks. We just want to get that on recorded on tape. Yeah, good clarification.